many of these countries are comparatively small. Um, however, um, they are unique. They have either a very strong vocal tradition or they are amazing instrumentalists. There are certain aspects from literature that also feed into music. That is important. Also, look at your cultural habitat to dig up these stories and to bring them to the general public. That's the best you can do. I'm studying at uh, BIM Berlin, Modern Music Institute. The most important thing is to include younger people in, in festivals like the Nordic Film Music Days and also make them aware that there are possibilities to make film music um, and, and develop skills within it. We have found a short film and we have had five composers to make their own version of the music for this film and they had no directions at all. So it's very, very interesting to see their approach and how they managed to make the music. We did this to show how different uh, film music could work. I released five albums worldwide and now the latest years I made music for my first feature film. So I'm here to talk about, in a panel, about uh, how I did that and the inspiration, how I get inspiration. I worked a lot on branding myself. I think that's a really important thing when you're a composer. Try as good as you can to put words on what are your specialities, who you are and exactly what you do. Right now I'm attending the speed meetings. I met a director from Greece and uh, she, she's actually looking for a composer to her, uh, to her next project. Uh, mostly I do uh, feature films and, um, and TV series. Of course it's a dream to do t uh, music abroad sometime and that's why it's so inspiring to come here and, and meet uh, people from all over and I would really like to come back and do it again. I think the music industry and the film industry should be better at working together and I think through uh, events like this we can be better. The winner is Una Congratulations. Thank you. I would love to come back. I hope to be back here next year at the latest.